COVID-19 is a, a virus belonging to the family of coronavirus which is a, a very common cause for a respiratory infection uh, presenting with cough, cold, fever, body pain, sore throat and a cough. Now it's called COVID-19 because uh, uh, it, it was uh, detected in 2019 uh, in China and Wuhan and it causes the coronavirus uh, disease. Um, it is usually uh, transmitted when people cough or sneeze, when millions and millions of droplets are expelled from uh, the person who is coughing or sneezing and these droplets contain the virus and when these droplets land directly on your eyes, nose or mouth, the virus enters the body and after an incubation period where it multiplies in the body, it, uh, it again produces cough, cold, um, um, fever and sore throat in people in whom it is growing. So these people then again cough, sneeze and then spread the infection to other people. There is one other way uh, by which you can catch this infection. It is when um, these droplets containing the viruses land on surfaces like tables, desks, chairs uh, in schools. And if you uh, absent-mindedly put your hand on these droplets and then scratch, uh, pick your nose or eat, eat something without washing your hands or rub your eyes, this virus again enters your body and causes a similar infection with cough, colds, sore throats, breathlessness and fever. Now uh, in, in the majority of people this, is, this causes only a mild viral infection but in some people it can cause a severe infection. There is a lot of information now available on social media which actually makes people quite afraid of catching the coronavirus. What I would like to tell you is, the virus itself causes only a minor infection in a majority of the people. Right? Let's say about 95% of people will only catch a mild cough, cold, a mild fever and some body pains. It's only those with diabetes, those who are above 65 years of age, those with heart or lung disease who will actually catch a severe illness. Most people who catch this infection will recover uh, uneventfully. Um, second thing is people think that if you wear a face mask you are protected from the virus and that is also not true because uh, quite a common way of transmitting the virus is through your hands which is why people uh, advocate extremely good hand hygiene. Uh, people think that by drinking alcohol or drinking hot liquids or living in a, in a warm climate reduces your chances of catching this infection. This is also not true. So uh, there are a lot of false information going around on the internet, in, on WhatsApp and in other social media platforms and what I would like you to do is not to believe everything uh, and to run it past your doctor if you have something that really concerns you. Now the government has decided rightly to shut down schools and uh, gatherings, uh, you know, where people crowd together, meet together uh, and this is a very sensible way of curtailing the spread of the infection from one person to another. Like I told you before, uh, uh, the predominant mode of transmission of this virus from one person to another is by droplet infection. So the droplets are at highest concentration uh, within a radius of about 2 to 3 meters around the person who is coughing and sneezing. So if you can avoid crowding and if you can stay in well aerated, well ventilated uh, rooms, the chances of transmission are less. Therefore, closing down schools for up to a month is, is actually a very sensible thing to do and the government has done just that. This virus can, uh, can quite effectively be avoided if uh, you take certain precautions immediately. Some of the things when you don't have an infection, one of the things that you can do is if you know someone's got a cough and a cold, it would be good to avoid them and stay at a safe distance from them. The second most important thing is to uh, keep your hands absolutely clean. And the first thing that you would have to do is probably not greet people by shaking hands not giving each other a high five, standing a safe distance from people, uh, washing your hands frequently. I mean, don't pick your nose, don't touch your eyes, don't eat uh, food without washing your hands. So washing your hands will reduce uh, the contamination of hands with the virus and therefore will reduce your chances of catching this infection. If you are unable to wash your hands, you should use a, a sanitizer like this. 
squeeze a generous amount into your palm and then rub it thoroughly all over your hands in between the fingers under the nails and between the thumb and the and the other fingers so this and wait for it to, till the hand dries up and then uh, the, your chances of catching this infection are less when that happens so washing your hands good hand hygiene not touching people unnecessarily keeping your hands in your pockets and keeping away from people who have a cough and a cold will go a long way in uh, in uh, preventing the spread of this infection This winter has been quite bad for coughs and colds and I've seen so many people who come to me with a cough and a cold. So the question is what should you do in this uh, day and age of the coronavirus? What should you do if you were to catch a cough and a cold? So th the first thing is when you have a cough and a cold is to isolate yourself from uh, other people to whom you could transmit this infection. Now coronavirus in 85 to 95 percent of people present only with a mild cough, cold, running nose, sore throat, etc. So at this stage, if you keep yourself isolated from other people, your chance of, of spreading on the infection is very less. If you are coughing, it would be good if you could wear a mask to reduce the droplet contamination of the air in the room that you are staying in. Keep away from elderly people, people with diabetes, people with other illnesses who can uh, have a bad uh, infection if they were to catch the, the coronavirus infection. Um, uh, another thing not to do is to panic when you, when you start having a cough, cold and, uh, and uh, a running nose. Um, most of us are going to be okay, but if you have breathlessness or you have tightness in the chest, then it's good to see your doctor. The government has set up testing labs in multiple uh, cities and centers uh, in the state. So if your doctor thinks it is necessary for you, you could visit one of the centers, speak to the, the government doctors over there and get a test done if they think it's indicated. Um, coronavirus, you don't need to be very scared of coronavirus because even coronavirus is treatable. They have found certain medicines that may be helpful. So seek treatment early if you have any real concern. Uh, ch children may be more prone to catching the infection uh, because <coughs> they are uh, pretty carefree uh, and uh, they are always looking out for a good time and uh, they do not hesitate in approaching or talking or playing with someone who has got a cough and a cold. So they have no fear so therefore they, uh, they would go close to someone who has got a nice infection and they, they are more likely to catch it. Now uh, the good news is children rarely get have severe infections. In fact, one of the statistics from the recent COVID epidemic in China was that there was no death in any child below 9 years of age. So the real risk is for people above the age of 65, so children don't need to be worried. But on the other hand, children are a very high risk for spreading the infection uh, around because they cannot sit still, they can't sit in a room, they would want to go and play with their friends despite everything. As parents, if you have a child with a cough and a cold, please keep them home, don't send them to schools, don't send them to other public uh, places, keep them away from the elders in the, in the house, uh, let them stay indoors, take in adequate fluids, uh, have good healthy vegetarian food and if the cough and cold is bad enough, you could contact your pediatrician or your doctor to give you advice for medicines to reduce your cough, cold and fever. Only if, if, the, if your child has breathlessness should you, have, should you go to get your child tested for COVID-19 virus. One of the reasons why uh, elderly people and those with diabetes have a worse infection with uh, COVID-19 is because the immune system is not as good as it is in younger people. So most younger people below the age of uh, 65 are likely to have only a minor infection and a good nutrition goes a long way in keeping the immune system strong and to keep your infections under control. So what I would recommend is to have lots of fruits and vegetables always, not just during these times of uh, the COVID-19 uh, uh, infection. Have lots of water, prevent dehydration and avoid excessive exertion and exhaustion. Uh, this should be enough to keep your immunity working at its best. Uh, there are some people who might suggest that you take vitamins and I am one of those who would support you if you decide to take vitamins during this uh, period.
There are some people who get so worried that they start panicking. Some of them are rude to people whom they see uh, coughing and sneezing. I think that kind of uh, reaction and response is, is uh, not necessary at all. Uh, the most important for, for us to realize is that 95% of us are going to come through the coronavirus infection even if we did catch it uh, without much of a problem. So the most important thing is to keep away from people with coughs, coughs and colds, isolate ourselves and uh, uh, have good healthy food and take symptomatic treatment if we were to have a cough, fever, cough and cold. Uh, and most of the times they're going to be all right. And if you have any real concerns, instead of uh, getting worked up about it, it would be good to talk to your own doctor about it uh, to get advice uh, on what you should be doing. There are two kinds of masks that are available in the market. The, the, this one that I'm holding in my hand is basically a surgical mask which you'll get in, in any pharmacy. Now, now the, the way to wear this mask is uh, it has uh, an aluminum uh, rod on the top over here which will take the shape of your nose. So one is to put it on top on your nose and then tie it behind above and, and below the ear and then pinch this close so there is no gap just about by the sides of the nose. This is not reusable, this is to be used only once and uh, quite often even in theatre uh, we change these masks every two hours. So this, this is okay for short periods of time. This is the second type of mask that, that you can buy. Uh, not from the pharmacies, this, this is what I have got this from Amazon. Uh, this is called an N95 mask, it is much thicker, it has got multiple layers and this mask comes with, a, with an expiratory valve. So, and it has got an uh, aluminium clip on the top, so, so it can be made to fit snugly on your face. So, you just press the clip so there is a seal on, on the side of your nose and you have an expiratory uh, valve through which what you breathe out comes out this way. This mask is reusable and may even be washable. So, so this, is, this is a better quality mask which, which will last you longer. Now uh, if you ask me who needs a mask, if you are not, if you are feeling healthy and you don't have a cough, you don't need a mask. A mask is not going to necessarily protect you from uh, catching uh, the coronavirus infection. But if you had a cough, it might reduce the number of uh, droplets that, that come uh, out of you. So it's good to wear a mask if you have a cough. Um, I wear a mask when I see my patients because uh, most of my patients this season are coming to me with a cough and a cold. So in order not to catch the infection and not to spread it to my other patients, I wear a mask. Even if you wear a mask, it is recommended that you don't touch the mask and if you were to touch the mask, to wash your hands with soap and water. If you are working with a lot of people or you are in a crowded place like the station or the airport or if you had certain lung conditions that, that put you at risk for catching infections, heart conditions, if you are diabetic, if you are elderly, if your immunity is not as strong as it should be, if you are on medicines that can reduce your immunity, it might be worthwhile to wear a mask. Otherwise, in general, a mask uh, will not be helpful during this uh, for people who are healthy otherwise. The coronavirus infection and the pandemic that we have now, many people believe is going to be uh, in circulation for a while. But the number of new infections happening will come down as we uh, quarantine people who have already caught the infection and we uh, keep away from those with a cough and a cold. So the, the most important thing is this too will pass.